Billy Joel to Sergey Rachmaninoff, we can tell you that pianists around the world have come to rely on Steinway pianos. Yeah, their factory in Queens just fully reopened after shutting down for months because of the pandemic. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes takes us inside. These are the sounds of music in the making again at Steinway and Sons Piano Factory in Astoria. This is my house. These are all my babies. For Gwendolyn Folk, this is her passion, putting weights in the keys to make them lighter and easier to play. It's a job she's had here for 26 years. Sometimes it can take three large. Sometimes it can take four. It's, it's up to the key. It's not up to me. I do what, what it tells me to do. We have a conversation. Those conversations, <laughs> yes, though, were yes, on hold the last four yes. months. The factory had to close due to the coronavirus yeah. pandemic. But now more than 200 artisans and others are back to work. CEO Ron Losby. We're at full production as we were before we had to shut down in March. And it's really gratifying and wonderful to see this. It's also wonderful when you consider the history of Steinway. German immigrant Henry E. Steinway started the company in Manhattan in 1853. They opened the Astoria factory 150 years ago. The company survived the 1918 Spanish flu, two world wars, the Great Depression, and now the coronavirus. Losby says while business is down, surprisingly, they did sell some pianos the last few months. They say, I want something I can have in my home where I can control the environment, where I don't expose my family to a lot of other people, and that is valuable and worthwhile and fulfilling. The personal touch is Steinway's trademark. All pianos are handcrafted with no two exactly the same. These pianos here are almost done. They're sitting and adjusting to being tuned. Since Steinways are not mass produced, it takes roughly 11 months to complete each piano. Despite the factory shutdown, they still plan to make their normal average of 1,200 this year, continuing their streak of world famous musicians like Cole Porter and Billy Joel relying on their detailed work. The feeling I get, oh my God. Yeah, it's amazing. And for this reporter, how cool to play a Steinway at the Steinway factory on Steinway Place. In Astoria, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. A Steinway baby grand starts at $75,000. The Steinway and Sons factory used to do public tours before the pandemic. They hope to bring them back, back maybe next year. And who knew, Andrea? Yeah, it's just skills. showing off there, huh? Impressive. Very impressive. All right.